everyone. Welcome to Behind the Nail Pros. This is Megan James, Senior Editor for Nail Pro, and I'm here with Viv Simmons and Catherine Wong um, for the cover shoot of the February 2013 cover. The cover for this issue, for the February issue, we decided to, or you decided, uh, I guess collaboratively with Stephanie to do a Valentine's themed cover. How did that process go, or what was what were some of the initial um, ideas that you guys had? When we first came up with the concept of doing the um, the Valentine's theme, we decided to do two different angles from um, two different interpretations. So one being my interpretation um, and the other being Kat's. So we chose to do one hand themed in all the pink tones and one hand themed in all the red tones. So this is the first time Nail Pro has had one tech work on one hand and another tech work on the other hand. Do you guys always do this? Is this something new? Well, Viv and I has, have always been working um, our own, own um, interpretation of a certain theme with all our books and our classes and so on. So we thought that um, it would be very interesting to have Nail Pro do something like that with us. Current industry trends being all the stickers, the rhinestones, the bling, the charms. So we decided to incorporate all these into the Valentine theme, we, which we thought was really appropriate. Working together, there's got to be pros and cons to that. Um, can you explain or describe some of those? I think um, for us too, we've found that it's mainly, um, it's all positive. We have two completely different interpretations of, um, of how we create our art. I'm very structured, very um, almost bordering on OCD. Kat is very free um, and very creative. So when we're both working together, it's a it's a thrill because it's it's really interesting to sort of look over and see what she's creating, and she looks over and sees what I'm creating, and for some reason it always comes together, and it looks, you know, it looks really cool. While you guys were creating this art, it was really it was really funny and kind of cute to see how you guys were describing your own personalities. You know, the different perceptions are different, but also <laughs> they kind of go with your personalities. We were talking about how Viv, your pink. The gorgeous work that you did was very sweet and, you know, um, innocent. And then, <laughs> Catherine, yours was a little bit more vixen, a little, you know, um, the red. Yours was the red hand. What tips do you have for other techs that might want to try this? It's funny that you said that because I bet a lot of people will think that um, I did the pink hand and Viv did the red hand, okay? So... <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, as for the tips, um, what happened is um, we, we sat down and we talked about it. We said, okay, what length are we going to go? Are we going to go really long, medium, or short? So here we decide that we would just go um, the maximum to the form that we're using. And then having decided that, what do we do? We talk about, and she told me, just red, nothing else, all red. I'm like, Viv, how am I going to do all red? It, you can't see any details in that. And she's like, I'm going to do all pink, different shades of pink. I said, that's not fair because you get to use like pastel, you know, white and so on, you know. So it's really hard for me because I have to think like, okay, different shades of red, how I'm going to do this. So in a way, I get a little bit upset and then, but we have to compromise. So I'm glad how it turned out because um, it also made me see that having used one color, you actually can create. So I'm, a, I'm also learning in the process. So it's a mutual respect thing and all. You learn as well along the way. So I guess, yeah. What do you think, Viv? I think you finished that well. <laughs> 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 okay, well, let's start talking about the actual nails that you did and how you created them. Let's start with this sweet one, <laughs> um, Viv, the pink, the pink hand. Okay, so with the pink hand, um, I decided to incorporate a few different techniques. Um, I used some stickers, some flowers, um, which looked, you know, really cute. And I layered them one on top of the other. Um, so it was almost like a collage type of effect. I used a lot of rhinestones, a lot of diamantes. Um, on one of the fingers I actually carved out using an electric file, I carved out the heart in the corner of the nail and then um, surrounded that with, with stones. Some of the work was done on a form, but majority, you know, and then attached on, but majority of it was done on the actual, on the nails. And I used a, like a tapered um, lipstick shape. I also wanted to ask how you get the larger pieces of bling 
attached to stay on such a structured nail like that? Generally, we start off with a little bit of um, either clear or a sheer pink acrylic. So um, using a very um, dry bead, you place that on, allow it to set up a little bit. So once it's in a semi-solid um, state, then you can place the, the bling, whether it be a bow or a rhinestone or, or whatever, place it on. So at that point, it's ready to grip. Um, allow that to settle. You can pop a little bit of glue around the edge. And then I will generally come in with a little bit more acrylic and pack it in underneath the, the actual, um, whether it be the bow or, you know, a heart or one of the, you know, the round stones so that it doesn't catch. So Viv, why would a professional nail artist who specializes in design use a nail sticker? That's an excellent question. <laughs> um, basically, the way things, the way we do use the stickers um, as such or decals. So um, actually today I was using a combination of both. I did use some water decals and I actually really love them because they're very, very thin. So they're wafer, wafer thin. And what we did, which was a little bit different, is we layered it. So, um, you know, by placing one of the, the water decals down, then placing another one layering over the top. So, as I said, it, it creates like a collage type effect. And then we came in with some lace or some acrylic design over the top or whatever. What was underneath? Was it just acrylic underneath the layering? I had the acrylic base buffed to a finish, nice clean surface, applied the water decal or the sticker, and... Um, and when, when it's still wet, you just sort of use your thumb or your finger just to, you know, lightly rub over the top. It smooths it all out. It stays put. And when you're ready, you just top gel it or top coat it. Thank you, Viv, so much for that explanation. Your nails are absolutely gorgeous. Now we're going to transition over to the bit sassier nail, um, setter nails, the red nail done by Catherine Wong. Catherine, your shape for the red nails um, was also a very unique shape, and I noticed that it was jagged. Um, tell us a little bit about that and how you created that. Well, being that I had to do the red um, side of the nail, um, and there's not a lot of contrast like I can do with red. So what I did was um, I started out thinking about the shape of a heart. So at the free edge, I sculpted out a heart with the acrylic, and then Ex, um, work backwards towards the nail. So what I did was I used um, a glitter, um, glittered red color, create the heart, and then use um, a bit of pink clear, marbleize it with red, work the way up towards the cuticle area. Can you talk to a little bit more about the issues you had with just using one shade? Because even though you were just using red, it's amazing the dimension that you got. Um, can you explain that process? To bring out the color, what I did was, um, what's amazing was that I, I used foil. Now foil throws off all the different reflections of red. Um, so what I did was, it's it's a very um, popular um, nail art material being used these days for, for nail art. So what we do is um, you put on some glue, put on the foil, wait for the glue to dry, and then peel it off. So the, the foil will actually uh, transfer over to the nail. And then after that, what I did was um, I put a coat of um, clear gel over it. That is to seal in the foil and uh, buff the surface. After that, um, then do other designs on it. So in that way, the foil doesn't flake off while you're using the nails. And it gives out that really special effect. So I did that on all five nails um, as the base. So the foil and um, the acrylic, actually, they work opposite. The acrylic being dull and the foil being reflective. So that gives it the contrast and the visual effects that I would want to create with the red nails. You used a lot of embellishments for the red hand as well. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? For the red hand, um, I use a couple of different techniques. Like um, I use the decals. And like what Viv has explained, we layer them. And um, I also use um, hand paint technique to do in all the motifs. That makes it a little bit more interesting to have like lines running through the nails. Um, on some of the nails I did, um, I used a lot of um, uh, crystals. And also I did uh, hearts out of acrylic powder. And then we use the nail charms just to bring out the visual effect. And um, I think one of my favorite was the bow because I'm actually... I, I did it out of acrylic, uh, made it into like a very 3D kind of bow, um, put it on the nails and added rhinestones to it. 
Catherine, as I was watching you create these nails, you did everything by hand, except f- except for the you know decals that you spoke about. What was the most intricate part um, that you did? I guess uh, it would have to be the bowl because it took a little bit more time. I had to um, um, make that bowl on a, a form and then have it um, folded together to make it look like an actual ribbon and then dress it up. So that took a bit more time and um, a bit more um, detail in terms of uh, make sure that I cut it out, all the lines are clean, and making sure that even though it's acrylic, but it still looks soft like a real bowl. Well, once again, Vivian, Catherine, thank you so much for coming to do these nails. They look absolutely stunning. Um, we're so happy that you guys were able to do this cover and um, make them so special. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Had a good time. Yeah, always fun. Thank you.